Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another AEW Dynamite Review episode. So, opening the night, we got, first thing we're going to review is opening the night. We got Romero, Rocky Romero from AG, NGPW taking on Brian Danielson. And, um, Brian Danielson and Rocky Romero, it will be a back and forth fight a lot throughout the match. Both trying to go to submissions, um, multiple times. But in the end, Brian Danielson would lock in the Tequila Sunrise and just run Shawna and Rocky Romero would have no choice but to tap, uh, handing, um, Brian Danielson the victory. So, for that match, honestly, it was just an amazing fight, an amazing match, an amazing spectacle. Um, and honestly, it was pretty entertaining to watch. Um, and yeah, so, overall, that match gets uh, good, um, amazing from me. Overall, so on to the fact number two. On to the fact number two. So, um, next thing we're gonna review is, um, of course, I'm looking at the uh, results here on my uh, tablet. Uh, next thing we're going to review is uh, the tag team match where it was Matt Seidel and Lee Moriarty versus uh, Dante Martin and Leo Rush. Now, I honestly myself haven't seen Leo Rush wrestle anywhere since like since like the AEW. Um, Casino Battle Royale, where he was a joker. Um, and honestly, I was impressed because in that, in this match, it seems like, you know, Leo Rush hasn't missed a step. He was like, honestly, so impressive. Um, so good in the ring. And uh, he just did really well for a comeback match. Um, so, like I said, this is the first time we've seen Leo Rush in a match since, you know, he was Joker in a Casino Battle Royale, but he really impressed. Um, dude, he did not seem like he, he missed a single step since being away from the ring. Didn't look like there was any ring rust, and honestly, it was just an all-out amazing match. Um, at one point, um, Matt Seidel was on one side of the ring, um, Lee Moriarty was on the other, Leo Rush was a legal man, uh, Leo Rush would first bounce off the ropes and tope it, and, uh, uh, take, well, I think it was the Tobe Suicina on, uh, on Matt Seidel on one side into the barricade, and then on the other side would do the same to um, Lee Moriarty, which, wow. Um, he really impressed in this matchup. Um, really took it to the opponents. And uh, honestly, just overall, amazing verdict. A verdict overall for that is amazing. No doubt about it. I love it. It was an amazing matchup and amazing just, yeah. In fact, I think uh, Bleach Report Live actually agrees with me because they gave it a B plus. I mean, I'd uh, give it an A plus if I were them, but, I mean, hey, each their own, you know. So,
And the third and final thing we're going to review in this episode. Um, simply, what is the main event segment? So, um, contract signing between Hangman Adam Page and uh, Kenny Omega for the for the world championship in AEW. Um, now, contracts were signed. Kenny Omega are. I don't know who Hangman Adam Page was talking about. Maybe one of you guys can let me know in the comments down below. But um, uh, Adam Page mentioned throughout the, you know, when Kenny Omega tried to say that the Young Bucks and him were the ones holding, you know, picket Hangman Adam Page back up every single time he got down in the dumps and everything. Um, and then Hangman and Page would retort with, I, if I remember correctly, you had another tag team partner that you didn't live up to very well, saying that to Kenny Omega. Um, and also would address another thing where Adam Page would say, you did say one lie about me when you say you were proud of me and all that. Um... Just digging into this, you know, Kenny Omega with his comments was Adam Page um, getting ready for this match. But after the contract signing, um, both contracts were signed. Kenny Omega got up to leave, shook his hand, shook the hangman Adam Page's hand one last time. I thought it was going to be an all out, you know, brawl or something between Kenny and I had him Page. Well, Kind of was, honestly. So, let me explain. Um, so, Kenny Omega got up, shook his hand, said, I'm proud of you, Adam Page. And then, as Kenny Omega was getting ready to leave the ring from behind, um, what looked like a cameraman would attack um, Adam Page but would reveal himself to be Don Callis. Um, and then Kenny Omega would take advantage, attack, continue beating down on Adam, Adam Page. Adam Page will be busted open from the attack from, you know, Don Callis. And, um, yeah, so it looks like this match on Saturday at Full Gear is set to be, uh, well, really a, um amazing match. Um, this content, contract signing verdict is uh, an amazing, like, contract signing, great way to do it. Uh, WWE can learn a lesson from this. Um, yeah, so, um... That'll do it for the third and final thing we review. Now, you guys know by now how we do these reviews. We're going to take these three subjects, and they don't mean anything. So, wipe slate clean. Done. Overall, AEW Dynamite. The verdict is amazing, as always. Um, so, I will see you guys again. Um... Probably tomorrow uh, for one episode because I'll be working late late, late tomorrow night. Um, so I'll only be able to bring you one episode, which will be Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Twitch. And then um, I'll try to get today, you guys. I'll try to get a few episodes in today before I um, go and, you know... I'll try to get, like, at least the Valkyria Chronicles episode in today. Um, it's early enough. So, I'll try to get that in today. Or no, today is Thursday, so I'll try to get that in.
for the Assassin's Creed 2 episode for you guys. Um, other than that, tomorrow you'll be only getting the Shadow of the Tomb Raider episode. And then on Friday, only the Battlefield 4 episode. So, I will see you guys later. As always, though, remember, stay safe, stay dangerous. Love you guys. Later.